In this Premiere Pro tutorial, I'm going to show you how to auto reframe your shot so you can edit together a seamless and good Instagram Reels edit. My name is Vegard and I do a lot of video editing and filmmaking tutorials, so make sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss out on future tutorials. So I made a little sequence on the timeline right here with some uh, stock footage from Artgrid. And by the way, if you need some stock footage for your project, I highly recommend Artgrid. I got a link in the description below. I'm not sponsored, but uh, I get a little commission if you sign up and you get two months extra if you sign up with the link in the description below. So let's get started with the tutorial. So the sequence is done and uh, now I'm going to show you how you can auto reframe this. Now inside of Premiere Pro, we have something that is called auto reframe and that is AI editing. So the artificial intelligence inside of Premiere Pro will calculate everything together and show your videos in any aspect ratio that you need really. To get started reframing our sequence, we need to go into our project folder and find our sequence. So I'm going to right click on my sequence and go to auto reframe sequence. Then you will get this little dialog box up here. And there's two settings that we are going to look at. We are going to see the aspect ratio. So you can choose between a one by one square. So that will be perfect for Facebook or Twitter and um, your um, uh, Instagram feed. And uh, you can also choose vertical four by five, vertical nine by 16 and horizontal 16 by nine, of course, and a custom value if you want to have a custom aspect ratio. But the perfect aspect ratio to use for Instagram reels are vertical four by five. The next option is the motion tracking and it's set to default, but you can also choose to have it in a slower motion or faster motion. And what that basically means is that it will choose how fast it will keyframe fa uh, back and forth between the clips. Uh, and I will show you that after we have done the sequence. But for now, I'm going to show slower motion. And you can also choose to nest your clips or don't nest your clips. So I'm just going to hit create and uh, Premiere Pro will now analyze all the cuts in the sequence. So if you see down here, analyzing for auto reframe and it will take a little while depending on your footage, but uh, it doesn't take that long. It looks like Premiere Pro is already done analyzing our clips. So let's take a look at how it looks. Our subject is in the middle of the frame and that is what the artificial intelligence is doing. And to me, it looks like it's doing a pretty good job of that. And now we can go to effect controls and here you will see the auto reframe option and you can change from the slower motion and choose a faster motion. And if you do that, you need to analyze the clips again and then you can take a look at how it looks like. So it basically moves faster when it's doing the keyframing of the shots. And if you want to adjust the keyframing, you can click this button right here, overwrite generated path. And if you do this, you will see all of the keyframe for each individual clip. So for example, right here, uh, we can see that there is a keyframe right here. And if we drag this around now, you will see that it's it's different. On the screen right now, you will see a video that you can click and watch next. And if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell. Thank you so much for watching, create and inspire. I will see you in the next video.